Hey everyone, it's Michael Goosebumps fan. Today I have another book haul of Goosebumps goodness for you. Uh, I might have a little bit of a lisp tonight. I've been having this trouble for the last couple of days. I don't know what the problem is, but uh, I guess I'm not getting enough water or something. I don't know, I'm talking too fast for my own brain. Something is happening, I don't know why. But uh, anyway, today's a book haul, and I got both of the tens that I needed. Yes, T-I-N, not T-E-N. Yeah, Goosebumps 10 boxes that came with five books apiece, and one of them, this one, is actually the brand new one that just came out maybe a week ago, a couple of weeks, a couple of weeks ago, somewhere in that ballpark. But yeah, I'm really excited to have both of these. Now, this is the first one, I believe, that had, like, Not a Living Dummy and Haunted Mask and Say Cheese and Die and all the really good ones that I love tremendously. This one has some cool stuff too, but we'll get there when we get there. I'm going to start off with the first 10 here. I have the second 10 that was ever released. I never got around to getting, um, you know, this first one, but I finally did, and I'm glad I did, because I really like the colors that stand out on these five books that came with this. Of course, the first one, pretty much, probably my first ever Goosebumps book, possibly, is Not a Living Dummy. Yes. I love how they also have this, the, the little bit of a slight tilt to how Slappy is on the cover. My cover that I always had from a skating rink birthday party copy is, you know, adjusted from the reissues from like 2003 to 5, somewhere in that ballpark. But I love how this is like the original color scheme, the original art style and everything else. Just a beautiful, beautiful copy. Uh, I love the beautiful white pages on this red and yellow cover book. It looks like a McDonald's book, man. So beautiful. Next one up is another absolute classic. If you haven't read these, any of these, in this collection I'm about to show you, you need to, including Dummy. One Day at Horrorland, the original cover. I don't think I have a copy with the original cover at all. I'm really glad to finally have this because I love this book so much. It is one of my favorites. When I got back into Goosebumps around the time I had my back injury in 2018, that was one of the first books I read from the series when I was getting back into it. I had heard so much about this book. And I finally read it, and I loved it so much. It's just hands down the best of any of the Horrorland stuff in anywhere of the Goosebumps franchise, whether it be video games, movies, any of that stuff. It is so good. I love the TV adaptation of the episodes there. They're really good, too. Great, great, great stuff. This one is a very big, famous Halloween book from Goosebumps. It's very well known, called The Haunted Mask. One of the first early books of Goosebumps, and a lot of people love this to death. It's not my favorite Haunted Mask book. My favorite is One of the Haunted Mask, but this is a really good one, too. I love Haunted Mask, too, just as much as this one, if not more than it. Uh, it's a great, great book. Really check that out. I love the blue and orange on that cover, too. This one is the first ever Goosebumps book ever released, ever. That is Welcome to Dead House. Yes. Really cool, beautiful cover. Really thankful to have this as well. I'm loving seeing these white pages on these books. It's just such, an, such a, a weird thing to look at. You don't even see like the new Goosebumps books having like pure white pages on them. And the last one here, I just read for the first time the other day, did a review for it. I also just reviewed the episode right before this video of the episode adaptation from, from the 90s TV show. Say Cheese and Die. Never had the original copy of the book. I've actually had a reissue copy pretty much my whole life. I'm glad to have this as part of my collection too. Really great book. If you haven't seen this book before, all, pretty much all of these books here, Dummy, Haunted Mask, Horrorland, Dead House, all this stuff, every single book in this tin collection are dark, dude. They are some dark, dark books. Some of them are really scary, really good moments in these. Some of my favorite here are in this first tin. I'm a little surprised to see a tin that had so many great ones. The second tin had some other kind of oddball stuff like Night in Terror Tower, uh, Legend of the Lost Legend, which I haven't read that either. A lot of stuff that I haven't touched before. But the third 10 that has recently been released, again, this one here has some stuff that I don't own on the original cover side, but also some stuff that I do own that I don't mind having a secondary copy of because I feel like it's going to be a book I haven't read yet that I might really like. For example, the first book in the set that I got was The Cuckoo Clock of Doom. Yeah, I've heard this is going to be great. I've heard the episode's great. I know the film referenced it. Heard a lot of really good things about the story. I have some people like Grace and the Goosebumps Kid on my comment section. One of my people in my community, one of my subs, talk about it. And he loves the book, apparently. Apparently, a lot of people love this book. And I'm really stoked to read it at some point. The cover always used to get me with this expression of this bird. This bird is just like, try me, you know? Really cool looking cover. Love that blue and yellow together. Very canary looking, you know? Really dig that. The next book, I was really surprised to get any kind of modern release at all for it. I'd really love for some Goosebumps younger readers who have not read this book to pick this up. I think you'll love it. It's a really, really surprisingly good one. Very much like a Twilight Zone type of thing, too. It's called The Haunted School. Really good one. One of the first ones I reviewed on this channel. It's on my channel as well, in case you want to check out that review. But this is a really, really, really creepy book. Really good concept about a uh, part of a school building that 
was apparently covered up after a bunch of kids went missing. Really, really good, dude. I love that, that book so much. I wish it was an episode. I can't believe out of all the books out there, even though this is a later book, this should have been made into an episode. It was so good. This one here, I have not read. I really don't have any, any interest in reading this. <clears throat> It'd probably be one that I read at some point, God willing, to, to review everything about Goosebumps on this channel. Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. Why this, of all things, got a modern release, a reissue if you want to call it that, why this thing, of all the books out there that could get a re-release, re like Horror at Camp, Jell Camp Jelly Jam, excuse me, I think that one did get a reissue, actually, I believe. Anyway, you know what I mean. A lot of books out there that a lot of people would rather read than this in this 10 collection, but uh, I guess I have two copies of that now. This one here I'm really stoked about. I've never owned an original copy with the original Tim Jacobus, or this wasn't Tim Jacobus actually, this was the other artist that when Scholastic was deciding between Tim Jacobus and another artist, this is the one they were picking from the other artist to try out, aside with, uh, there was a, another cover. It was the one with the crystal ball on it. I can't remember, I can't remember what it's called because I haven't read it yet. <clears throat> anyway. Stay out of the basement. A lot of people want me to read this soon. I might read this on my honeymoon. The way it's looking from the voting system I set up, a lot of people are going for that, so might be the case, but stay out of the basement. Read it a couple of times in my life, probably two or three times as a matter of fact, and I always love this book a lot. The TV episode's good, really like that as well. Hopefully to talk about that at some point, but I love this original art. I think it's a really creepy cover, even though I do like the Tim Jacobus one as well, but yeah, pretty cool cover. Always used to creep me out when I'd see like the VHS copies and stuff floating around out there. I think there was a VHS to stay out of the basement. Pretty sure. I might own it. I don't, I'm pretty sure I own that. I don't know. I could be wrong. Anyway, the last one in this particular set from 10 set number three is The Werewolf of Fever Swamp. I do not own the original cover on any book. I'm really glad to have it because I love this dark green with the dark purple and bluish color and all that. Really love it. I've seen the episode like a thousand times. I love that two-parter so much. It's so good and so dark and spooky and creepy, so atmospheric. Some of the best goosebumps ever, easily. And this book I've heard is fantastic. I haven't read it myself, but uh, I'm glad to have this new cover or this original cover re-release cover, whatever. I do have the reissue from a couple of years ago, but uh, other than that, I don't have the original cover, so I'm really excited to have that. Anyway, guys, that is the book haul update collection, whatever video you want to call this. I'm really excited to have all these things. I'm glad to have them in the collection. I hope that you'll go out and check out these tin boxes. Are you planning on buying any of these? Have you collected these? What do you think? I think there should be a fourth one. I believe I heard at some point there was a fourth one being announced, or was already announced. Maybe I did a video on it. I don't remember, but... Uh, Goosebumps book tens, I think are really cool. I think it's a cool concept. Five books at a time. What in the comments section, I would love to know, what would you want the next five books released in a 10 set to be? I'd love to hear that down in the comment section down below because there's some really good ones. Again, that book number, that 10 number one with the Night of the Living Dummy and Haunted Mask and all that, that was a great 10 release. The last two have been kind of disappointing in some regards, but people like myself who like to collect will pick them up anyway. Anyway, what are your thoughts about all this stuff? Put your thoughts and comments down below, guys. Thank you for watching. God bless you and goodbye.